All right, welcome Pokemon trainers. So this is my first Poke Battle video, and I hope I can give you some useful tips. So I like to start off with Melmetal because he's really strong and gaining energy with his fast move. Uh, we're gonna always build up to two superpowers, and what I like to do is unload both of them, one after the other. Uh, I don't shield this because I think it's a Surf, but. Uh, that's not bad, I can still take it. And I go for the superpower, not knowing that he's going to switch. But I guess it lagged enough so I can rock slide him, that's really good for us. Uh, this is gonna put some pressure and even get rid of a ton of shields. Uh, this matchup is really good, I don't know why he switched to a Dragonite, so I'm assuming he doesn't have anything to counter that's okay we got two shields off it's very good i'm assuming we go with the dialga and i'm gonna dragon breath him down but i'll probably use a iron head dragonite is really good because it can spam Dragon Claw. It's a very spammy move. And it's going to do some neutral damage to my Dialga because it's a part Dragon type. But Steel is really good. So I'm going to have to shield it. We're taking way too much spam. And this should be able to kill it. I'm gonna switch out right away <clears throat> make it available for a sack swap in case I need it this isn't bad due to Gyarados being a flying type it's going to be pretty weak against ice <clears throat> I'm not too concerned. Crunch and Outrage are generally the moves of choice for Gyarados. And it seemed he gathered a lot of energy pretty quickly to get to an Outrage. So one shot by Blizzard. And it's GG. Really bad matchup against a Kyogre. Alright, this is a pretty neutral matchup. I build up energy. I don't plan on using any superpower because Giratina is a ghost type and wouldn't be very good to use fighting moves. that these are shadow balls which are pretty good to shield it's gonna stick with it I generally like to win the lead because it will dictate what Pokemon I can counter losing the lead isn't incredibly bad but you'll always be fighting an uphill battle when your opponent tries to counter you. This being a neutral matchup, I think we can do pr fairly well and worst case, farm down. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Farm down with the Dialga with Dragon Breath. And this is as neutral as it gets. It's a mirror. I'm gonna build up to a Draco Meteor and bait that. You don't wanna do it too early because then they'll know it's an Iron Head. And he takes the bait, getting as much Dragon Breaths in. And we're able to get a second Iron Hand, doing as much damage as possible before we go down. I think I can 
torn down with. So there's nothing that he can do that really does much damage. Maybe thunder. All right. So Draco Meteor, even though it makes me able to farm down even better. I can get a rock slide in. And we do. This is great. Really great for us. Mm -mm -mm. We'll switch. Have it ready for a sack swap. If you're not sure what a sack swap is, it's when you switch to a Pokemon to absorb a charge move that your Pokemon would otherwise been hit with. Can be really clutch at times. Mm -hmm. We take that. So my team, if you're not familiar with other YouTubers, I uh, believe a young lady um, that was featured in Pokey King's YouTube channel uh, used this lineup fairly well. So this is really good. Dialga counters Giratina. Able to really put a hurting with those dragon breaths. Dialga is just so good. I have a 96%, which it's decent, but if you can get a hundred with best buddies, it's very devastating in this league. We take a shadow ball, able to farm down. <gasps> uh, right. Nope, oh, wasn't able to get the iron hand, but I wouldn't worry about that. So we're gonna t put the timer down to reset it in case I need to switch. We have two superpowers back to back. Reason why you want to switch after you fire off both is that you get a very devastating debuff. And by switching out, you reset all of that. So we get a shield and we take such a huge chunk of damage. The Dialga Kyogre matchup is generally like a bad matchup, but him using that just made it better. And we're looking really good right now. This is gonna one shot, but I'm, I believe I decided to surf so that I can build up energy. Be ready for that Dialga that comes out after I kill the Togi Kiss. Alright, hopefully that's not a flamethrower. Ancient power, and it is. We're gonna survive that. Such a diva. And we're gonna take this. GG. So with pokey battling i like playing it consistently i think that it's easy to remember when you use the same team and you have things down by muscle memory so again we build up two superpowers he switches out we counter with dialga i guess i build up some energy before i switch Take a surf. We're not too worried about a blizzard coming out now. Mm -hmm. oh, we get a shield off. Very good. Do we get an iron hand? Oh, we 
do? So we win the lead. <clears throat> Let's see what he has next. Okay. We're gonna get out our... Oh, he switches right away. This guy's smart. That's okay. That was really good on their part. <clears throat> Even with me winning the lead, this, he's doing everything right. I'm gonna build up to a blizzard. It's the only chance I have. I'm just gonna, I think, just go for it. Get rid of that shield. If, or even better, he just doesn't shield it, maybe? <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Is it a bait? Oh, that's fine. No, he does not have a shield. Draco Meteor? Oh, no, Iron Head. I'm gonna build up to two. So, after we kill this Dialga, we are going to be debuffed. Oh, we're gonna have to land a Rock Slide, which we're able to get off. Will it be enough? It's gonna be close. Oh. This is really close. And we take it. Woo woo. 